decided to coordinate with my little Cricut corner over here where I have my Cricut maker and my easy press and my printer and like all my good stuff over here because I have a new product to add to my little Cricut cart and that is Cricut Joy! So I got all of this, uh, Cricut sent me all of this stuff for the Cricut Joy and I thought that we would do a unboxing and kind of get familiar with this new product together. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't know a ton, a ton about it right now um, other than kind of the just the basics. So we're going to kind of be learning about this together. But I wanted to show you, look how freaking cute. That's how little it is. It literally fits in the palm of your hand. Oh my gosh. It's like the size of an alarm clock. Like, you know, the digital alarm clocks uh, back in the day when, before people had smartphones, that's how big it is. It's a very lightweight. Like I'm not a super strong person, but you know, I can hold it up. And you know, obviously in comparison to the maker, it's like a little baby. <laughs> that is really so, so, so cute. So the Cricut Joy is obviously a mini Cricut cutting machine. And they basically, the idea behind it is that you would make smaller projects really quickly, really easily, without a lot of hassle, without a lot of fuss. When you go to make something on your maker or your whatever cutting machine you have, you know, you have to use the mats and load everything up and pre-cut it and all of that kind of stuff. This is not like that. This is intended to go in design space, pick something, throw in your material, no mats, no pre-cutting, and it just does it for you. Um, so with that in mind, I thought I would talk you through some of the materials that they sent. The Cricut Joy does not cut fabric. I want to be really clear about that. This is just for like home decor and crafting. Paper crafting is going to be really big for Cricut Joy. So if you're into scrapbooking or card making or anything like that. Um, oh look, they sent a, um, a little carrying case. <laughs> Cricketing on the road. <laughs> So if things get really bad during this whole epidemic, uh, pandemic, uh, I can just grab my Cricut Joy and hit the road and uh, make things as I go. Um, that's really, really cute. Maybe one of the first projects I do will be an iron-on inside the hem for this or something. That would be sweet. Little back pocket. This is really nice, actually. I wonder if they have, I'm sure they have these for the other machines. Actually, I know they do. I went to an event and they were giving them away, but I never win anything, so I didn't get it. But yeah, it opens to the front. I mean, this would be good for like other stuff. Like how cute is this for like a little sewing tote? Anyways, I'm getting distracted, but that's really, really cute. Very well made, very sturdy. You're just gonna protect your machine, which is nice. So I have that. Okay, and then they sent kind of the basic tools. So I already have like a weeding tool and a um, spatula and a scraper. I already have all three of those things, but this one matches, which, you know, I'm all about matching. So I've got kind of a teal situation happening. So that's cool. They sent a card mat for custom cards in minutes. Well, that's fun. I'm not much of a card maker, but maybe I will be if it's this easy. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to look up some ways to um, use this. Maybe it can be like a, you know, send it out to the sewing friends on Instagram or in real life and congratulate them on different milestones. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that could be a lot of fun. So apparently there's a, it's a little template or a mat um, with instructions on how to use on how to use these to make cards. I think what it is, is it cuts out all of these little shapes that you see here, and then you insert a card into the in behind of that, and that's what shows through. And this just makes it real easy to do that, I guess. I'll dig into that a little bit more. And then they did send some mats that are designed just for the joy. Uh, I don't think you have to use a mat, so um, I'll have to dig into why I might need these. I thought the whole point was that you just stuck in the machine and went for it. So maybe there are some materials where you do need these because they only sent a light grip and a standard. Um, so I'll figure that out. 
Um, they also sent Sunset Blossom Smart Iron-On. It's like printed iron-on. How pretty is that? You get all three of these uh, to use to iron on. So it'd be like a really cute little pocket. So these are five and a half inches wide uh, by 12 inches. So you can iron on anything that is five and a half by 12. So I'm trying to think of like, I don't know, like a sleeve detail or like obviously a tote bag or something like that. That's what you can use this guy on. That's cute. Um, they also sent deluxe paper. I think this is probably for the cards maybe, but look how pretty those spring prints are. Again, you get all of these. Those are gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is actually the perfect time for me to get all of this stuff because my creativity is like through the roof being home so much. Um, and like I'm sewing all the time, but you know, sometimes you feel like doing something other than sewing. Uh, so maybe that's what this will be, but oh, they sent the coasters. Uh, have you guys seen the invisible ink yet? Um, they demoed this when I went to that event that I told you about. Um, so these are actually really, really cool. And I probably, now that I have them, will make them. But you use invisible ink, either pens or sheets, and it like melds with the material. It becomes one. It's not, like, you know how vinyl like is a sticker? This is not that. This like becomes the material. It's actually wild. Um, okay, so then they sent Smart Vinyl permanent vinyl and also some of the transfer tape. So you would cut something out on this vinyl and then transfer it to your project, whether that be like a canister or some like label something that you're trying to make. Um, I think this is white, glossy white, yeah. And there's 20 feet of it. So again, with this, you load it up and you could do five and a half inches by 20 feet of something. So I don't know what you would want that's 20 feet long, but if you wanted that, you could make that with this. Um, here's an example where they did like a little wood project. So again, five and a half inches is pretty big. It's like that, you know? So you can make um, different things with that. And then, oh, they also sent card inserts. So again, I think this is, and these are all solids. Yeah, I think these are like the backgrounds of the cards. So they sent these colors, kind of a pastel and then a more like um, saturated one. Cute, I definitely am gonna play around with that. That just looks like silly and fun and whatever. Um, okay, Smart Iron On in this like sparkly pink, which, hello, I love pink. Um, so I actually know what I'm going to use this for already, but here's, they did this little thing, um, as an example. So that's iron on, iron on. That's good. I wish I got more iron on. Oh, um, okay. Smart label. This stuff's really cool. It's like dry erase board. So you can make labels for all of your canisters, all of your glass containers or plastic containers. I actually have a whole bunch of these types of stuff containers in my, um, pantry. So maybe now's the time. And the cool part is, is that it's writable, but I think you can wipe away the writing. Uh, customize using joy pens and markers. Maybe not. Heel and stick labels. Um, I can't, I don't know if it's erasable or not, but they did send the pens. So I've got red, purple, and green. I feel like there were other pens. Oh, and then, oh, these are infusible ink markers. So these are really cool because like, let's say I wanted to make coasters for like the kids den, like if I had kids, um, you can have your kids draw a picture and then you can infuse that onto the coasters. So that's really, really cute. Or you, if you have really nice handwriting or if you know someone who does, they can write it out for you. Um, and you can just have like, you know, you just transfer whatever has been drawn onto the material, whether it's tote bags, t-shirts, coasters, whatever it is. Um, and then the last two things are removable vinyl. So this is like peel and stick, but it peels away. 
you lay it down and then you can move it. Um, they have this little wood box as an example. I don't really know why you would want to remove it once you put it on unless, I mean, maybe if like for your canisters in your pantry, you wanted to like swap out what was inside, like one month it's pasta, but the next month it's rice, you can swap them out that way. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. And then the last one, oh, and this comes with all of these colors. It's like a little value pack. So all those pretty corals and mint and teal. Um, it obviously looks really good in my room here with all my stuff. I'll have to think of a fun way to use the removable vinyl. And then they sent more permanent vinyl. Um, gold, party pink, and cornflower blue. And here's a little project idea they have for that. So permanent vinyl too. And the box is empty. That's it. So like I said, I don't know a ton, a ton about all of this just yet, but I got to tell you, it's really inspiring. Um, I already have a couple projects in mind, including my pantry, including labeling some, um, like bins and storage containers I have in my craft closet, not to be confused with my craft room. I know I'm blessed. Um, and, oh, I could use them on that. Oh, and the cards are really inspiring. So I'm gonna tinker around with this a little bit, probably on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, please do. Um, it's just a fun little space where, you know, it's not as formal as like publishing a video where I can do a lot of experimenting and behind the scenes and stuff like that. So that's probably where I'll play around with this stuff a lot. But yeah, it's really cool and really fun. And honestly, if you're not looking at making anything bigger than five and a half inches, the price point for this is like half of what a uh, maker or more. These are like 180. So yeah. They didn't sponsor this video or anything. I just, they did send me the materials though um, to play around with. So um, I'm gonna do that. Like I said, as a creator, it is inspiring to get something brand new that you've never used before. You know what I mean? Like it just gets your wheels turning in a different way. Anyways, I'm rambling and dinner's ready. So I'm gonna run. But, um, but yeah, check the description box for um, some more information about the Cricut Joy. I'll also have a link, an affiliate link. Um, if you decide to purchase one, it'd be really helpful if you could use that. Um, but other than that, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.